The next expression is beat around the bush. Which means to avoid sharing your true viewpoint or feelings because it's uncomfortable. For example, a person is talking to you about something and is giving analogies and metaphors, but they're not really getting to the point. So you would say to them, please quit beating around the bush. Tell me the truth. Tell me the main point. Don't beat around the bush. The next expression is beating a dead horse. Which means giving time or energy to something that is ended or over. So, if something is over with, or there's no hope of continuing, don't keep talking about it. Uh, it's like beating a dead horse. So, in other words, if you had an argument, say, 20 years ago with somebody, forget about it. For you to keep talking about something you disagreed with 20 years ago, it'd be like beating a dead horse. Don't beat around the bush, get to the point. Don't beat around the bush, get to the point. Don't beat around the bush, and tell me frankly what you think of my proposition. Don't beat around the bush, and tell me frankly what you think of my proposition. Quit beating around the bush, and tell me what you really want. Quit beating around the bush, and tell me what you really want. There's no point in beating a dead horse, leave it alone and buy a new TV. There's no point in beating a dead horse, leave it alone and buy a new TV. You can't beat a dead horse. Let's go. We need to be at the bookstore by five. You can't beat a dead horse. Let's go. We need to be at the bookstore by five. We've all moved on from that problem, so there's no use beating a dead horse. We've all moved on from that problem, so there's no use beating a dead horse. After having shown us three hours of instructional and safety videos, the inspector was simply beating a dead horse by telling us to buckle up as we got into the van. After having shown us three hours of instructional and safety videos, the inspector was simply beating a dead horse by telling us to buckle up as we got into the van. <laughs> 